few months back, maybe it was a presentation on Guru Padma Sambhava's, you know, secret Guru Padma Sambhava's form, speech, you know, and uh, mind. So that time we were, you know, showing, uh, first we showed a picture of Guru Padma Sambhava. So usually from a Buddhist point of view, you know, Buddha's form is supposed to be, you know, like a, you know, perfect. Buddha is said to be very handsome, very, you know, the perfect. But my, after the slide show, the next slide show that I used was a Korean actor. <laughs> and I was asking, is Kurumbuchi more handsome or a Korean actor more handsome? <laughs> and be honest. Do you really want to go around, dress around Singapore as Kurumbuchi, you know, carrying a Triton? Do you really want to go or you want to go dress like a Korean actor? So if you're already honest, most probably more generation you will say, no, I like a Korean actor, it's more handsome than Guru Padma Sambhava. So then the next slide to be used was the, you know, the, the lady celebrating the you know, birthday of the gorilla. So the point is that the reason why in the Buddhist, in the Vajrayana we say that all the forms are, you know, the, all, the form, all the forms are perfect or beyond definition. It, it's our, our own definition that makes into handsome, ugly, beautiful, tall, short, etc. not by object themselves. So that's why, from that point of view, every form is a Buddha's form or a deity or perfect. Similarly, you know, sounds are also like that. In some ways, you, you get disturbed by the sound, you get upset. And when you go to, you know, like a party, play happening place, louder the better, or you get upset. So it's not the sound that disturbs you, but your concept of the disturbing disturbs you. So similarly, all the emotions I like which like as a meditation we did earlier, if you understand the nature of every emotion is you know, undefinable, beyond perfect, perfect, imperfect, negative. So that is what it meant by you know, the, every form of deity, every sound is mantra, etc. But in terms of practice, sometimes yes, we visualize the entire universe as a so-called Buddha, every sound of Om Mani Padme every emotion of wisdom, but that is just a kind of a, you know, ladder, uh, you know, kind of steps to realize that ultimate by nature everything is perfect, every form sound is undefinable, beyond concept. So this is just a method ultimately that 